Oh, they smell good. Mm. Just pop mm. you on. We have got a very makeshift tripod mm. today. We're we don't have a tripod, boxes. which is very odd. Well, we did have one. Oh, we, we did lost. have one, but then it did get broken. Right. Maybe there ain't nobody like you. Do you feel the same? Love it. That one can't see us, it's too Wait, tall. No, right. Or would you rather see the snacks We need to put this one on the top, because it's more sturdy. I it's vegan to... snack time. Right, so I had to do a very boring thing this morning and go to solicitors. I don't think. But near the solicitors, it's the best, um, what, what what do you call them? Because it's not actually market. a vegan shop because they have meat and cheese. Health in there. food shop, but it, yeah, health food shop. And it's called if you're in Nottingham, it's called Out of This World. Mm. And it's From so here. good. It's got the best vegan snacks. So why have you got your hood like that? I've just noticed. Because my hair looks strange. <laughs> look at my hair. Look, look. It's absolutely well, on. Well, this is just like freshly washed. I got ready today because well, it's just like fuzz. I just look a bit it feels just soft. So I just think the hood is just like more put together. Mm. Fantastic snacks. So these are our favourite like crispy things. Who remembers we were obsessed with these? So these are cheese, hence the Z in the cheese for fake cheese. Cheese straws. We've got tomato and basil, which are I'd the say supreme. tomato and basil basil. Are the front runners, I think. Tastes like pizza. Mm -hmm. Then we've got sweet chili here, which I'm not the controversial I'm not the biggest the fan. Of of sweet chili at all. However, these are phenomenal. I'm a sweet chili girl. To be no. Mm. So, if you were having a meal, yeah, would you be like, "Oh, I'll get some sweet chili sauce"? Uh, yeah, depending on what the meal was. Yeah. And what meal would you opt for it with? Um, if I'm having like a poke bowl, I might put some sweet chili sauce on. If I'm having, like. Salmon, I feel like maybe right, like okay. some sweet chili sauce. I understand. I mean, I, don't, I haven't bought it, so I'm so not, not that much of a fan. No, not at all. But I'm not aggressive towards it like you are. No. But you hate it. Exactly. I, 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 I don't. That. I don't feel the need to have it stocked. But if you're offering me it, I'll I'll take it. Fascinating. Okay. <laughs> and then we've got creamy dill, which we've not dove into yet, but it mm. tastes pretty much the same as sour cream inside. So basically, you just pour the loads of crisps. No, and got something to play for it, Vigo. Which oh, look what I have. Which isn't my favourite vegan chocolate in the world. It's not the best vegan chocolate in the world, is it? <gasps> oh, let me try. I put it in the mic. Well, when you've gone out, put it in the microwave. I don't think this is the best vegan chocolate in the world. I always think the Galaxy Vegan tastes better. Well, yeah, it does. Yeah. But loads of people think this is the best vegan chocolate in the world. I thought you did too. <laughs> right, awesome. the Gal I'm the one that told you to get the Galaxy. Right. Yeah. yeah. I do like it. Yeah. Right. It's good. Then I've got these. This is a brand called iChoc. Chocolate cookie dough. Nice. And white nugget vegan crisp. So and let's just dive in. Mm. Man. <gasps> these are the best. Oh my god, look at those. Why are we opening them sideways when I ask that? Because these bags are notoriously difficult to open. Right. I haven't had these before. Oh my god. Right? They are like cheddar cheese. Right? It's like actual real mature cheddar, right? Oh my god. <clears throat> Tell them about your Uber driver. Oh, okay. How sweet is this? So, when we and Lewis, literally the night me and Lewis were broken up, I had to get into an Uber to go back to mum's. Um, Obviously, I was very sad and teary and I was crying. And I remember being in the back of the Uber and I was like, you know, crying to myself. And he, and, 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 you know, almost like this. And, and the Uber driver at the time was like, oh my God, are you all right? Like, I didn't realise you were crying back there. Like, have I done something wrong? Like, he thought he'd done something wrong. And I was like, oh my God, don't be silly. Like, you know, I'm not crying because of you. You know, oh you you know, I'm... Me and my boyfriend have just broken up, you know, I'm upset, it's not you. And he was being so lovely, he was giving me all this advice, he's like, how old are you? He was like, 
Oh, what about like 22? He was like, you have got so much time. Oh, he was like, you were. I'm gonna cry. You were so sweet. Yeah. And look, and at the time, and he was like, you've got so much time. Like, you're totally fine. Like, I promise you, you'll be feeling better. And he was so lovely. Oh like, my god. Really nice. And he was trying to like, make jokes at the time. I remember. Um, oh, and then when I got it like, out, I remember he was like. You know, like, good luck, like, oh you're going to be God. fine, all of this. And I totally forgot about it. And I literally just got in an Uber to come to Sevilla's. And um, he was like, the guy, I didn't realise it was him. And he was like, I've had you before. I was like, oh, God. Yeah, probably. <laughs> and he was like, yeah, it was when you, you, your boyfriend had just broken up. And I was like, oh, my God. And he was like, how are you? And we just had a nice catch up. Mm. That is like, so glad, sweet. Like, I'm glad you're not crying this time. I was like, Aww. Aww. feels like I knew you'd be fine. Like, really nice. Well, I love that story. And he was like, what are you going to do? What are you doing today? Aww. And he was like, oh, I'll tell my missus about you. <laughs> my missus. I was like, oh, no, oh, she all right? <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, we had a nice catch up. So it was actually really lovely. I hope you get him again. Me too. I've never, I've only had him most of the time. time. Because he was like, oh, my God, like, that was ages ago, wasn't it? Like, but I'll always remember you. Oh my god! Like, just like, I'll always remember it. Like, you crying in the back of my car. I was like, oh, really sweet. What are they into? I didn't want to get out. I was like, oh, I know. You're gonna stay with him all day. Yeah, I was like, I'll see you later. I know. Well, what if one day you see me you're having a baby? He's like, God, I remember you. Oh my god! You were back in my cab, and you were crying about that, man. Huh? Right. Bless his soul. He was so sweet. Bless him, because he thought I was crying because he'd like said something or done something. Because that's where his mind initially went, right? Mm. Well, yeah, oh, good. Good. You don't like creamy dill? No, I don't think so. Dill always reminds tastes me of... Tastes the same of, as um, sour cream. No. Uh -uh. Those two taste the same to me. Mm. Shocking. Dill, whenever I think of dill, I always think... No, not that burger. Was that what that ingredient was? No. But, but it's reminiscent. Whenever I see dill, my mind goes to To Kill a Mockingbird, that book we read at school. Was there not someone in that book called Dill? It's Kill a Mockingbird. To Kill a Mockingbird. I know there was a character called Dill somewhere, but yeah. it's Kill a Mockingbird. I think it was, because whenever I see Dill, I just well, think it's Kill a Mockingbird right. for some reason. Let's try chocolate cookie vegan. Ooh. I hope it's got good big cookie chunks. It's crunchy. I'm not getting an overwhelming cookie. Are you? No. I'm just getting like normal chocolate vibes, really. Same. But I'm right now that it's still really good. It's nice, but you know I got really excited about the cookie bit. Mmm. Mm. Oh, it's white. It's like, it looks like caramel. Oh, this is good for me. Caramac. Never had caramac. I never had a caramac. And caramac's like never a. Had a caramac. It's like a caramel white chocolate. Oh, my god. Oh, my god. Oh, my god. Oh my god. What does that taste like? Kinder Bueno, right? No, Kinder Bars. Kinder Bars. Oh my god. Oh my god. It tastes like a Kinder Bar. <laughs> That's dangerous, that is. <laughs> Everyone. Oh my god. Let me try the ice cream. This is mm. the, oh, I made most of it. Oh my god. Mm. I only bought it yesterday. Mm. This is the, wow. Oh. <laughs> She does not mess around. Because the other day I went to the supermarket at half past ten at night. So unlike you. And we got back from London. I just went to the super. I was like in in the evening. And then I was like, do you know what? I'm just going to go and do my supermarket shop now. Because I wasn't tired. Was it open? What time did they open? Where did you open? Go? Close to 11. Because so I was like, do you know what? And I figured it out. I was like, this is the time to do the supermarket no shop. Way. It was empty. Mm. The staff were just stuck in the shelves. Mm. I thought car park was empty. I thought this is the time. But then it's the only issue with it is that there is less stock because they are stocking. Some people, some things empty have deteriorated right. throughout the day. Yeah, but no, but if they are empty, I can just there's plenty of staff around on the night shift. Mm. Excuse mm. me if you got any. Oh, what well, I'm happy for you. Yeah, I'm glad you finally got in your groove. So she never had food in the shelves. I don't. Well, the thing, the problem with me is, right, I only, uh, I don't like that flavour. I'm only thinking about my next meal. Right. I'm not thinking about meals for the week. Like, right now mm. I'm thinking about, well, what I'm going to have for lunch. But, like, when you go to the supermarket, you should think, right, instead of just buying one can of tuna. I should buy six. I'm going to buy six. 
But I don't want to spend the money on sex. I know, but but God, but then you're saving yourself the time and the energy and no, the petrol. What I need to do, what I need to do is do my supermarket shop online. Right. Does anyone else, when you go to the supermarket, get a bit overwhelmed and get a bit like, what am I here for? I don't know what I'm doing. My mum always works with this. And that's what I need to do, I think. A comprehensive look. I know she head. does, yeah. Because I, I walk in and I'm like, what am I even here for? And then I have a basket full every time things. that I go. Yeah. And then it just seems to... It's the only right list. No, she doesn't. And she, whenever she goes in, she doesn't know what yeah. she's there for. Yeah, exactly. So That's why mum always has to write a list. We'll tell you about what happened at the weekend. Oh, gosh. And this is almost just like a warning and like a... Isn't it? Yeah. Like a... a serious combo. Serious thing. So... We went to this restaurant. Do we need to do a trigger warning? About being spiked? Possibly. If it brings back bad memories. Um, so basically, we went to a restaurant. It was a restaurant. How good is that? Oh wow. Where is that hot chocolate? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Get a bit of the fur, just fudge in there. Mm -hmm. Good, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, continue okay. with the story. So we went out for dinner with our friend. It was just the three of us. We were sat on our own table. And everything was socially distanced. There was other tables, groups of people, far away, restaurant atmosphere, okay? Mm -hmm. And we were having a bottle of wine, some sushi, and a mama beans. Some so mature bottle of wine. Right? <laughs> I didn't drink wine, but I enjoyed the So wine. mature. And then we were like, oh, we need the toilet. And because there's only three of us, we all need it, right? We can go. All oh, three of us, can't we? So it's annoying because I remember being right. like, I remember saying like, I'll stay here, like you girls go, like I'll wait yeah. because we still had food on the table, our yeah. drinks were on the table, our food. I thought like, God, if all three of us leave, they're gonna think we've left. We're gonna take away our food. Like I thought, I'll just wait here, like you girls go. But then I was like, don't be silly. Like we're like, hi, excuse me, told the waiter, we're like we're just nipping to the toilet. We'll be back. We'll be back. Like we're not running away. He was like, absolutely. Ladies, you know, mm -hmm. off you go mm -hmm. to the toilet. Mm -hmm. So we go to the toilet, go about our business, have a wee, mm -hmm. whatever, come back down. Obviously, everything was continue still there. With our night. We continue with our night. Obviously, I went back to drink the same glass that was there, mm -hmm. not thinking anything. anything. And then that is literally the last thing I remember. That is the that's the last it was moment I remember. It's just it was really scary. So like we were obviously like drinking wine. Like we were out for dinner, like seven till ten, we were out for dinner. It was like a kind of like clubby restaurant, like at the end of the night, like of the last like, you know, 45 minutes. There was loud music. It's loud it? music, like at last like half an hour, 45, everyone's up, like dancing at the table, like in separate groups, but everyone was dancing like drinking whatever so it was like a clubby restaurant but we were out for dinner like we weren't getting drunk no. and then i just remember we were sat at the table like you know finishing our food whatever having our drinks and then it was the weirdest thing like chintzia just seemed in like seconds to have just become like so drunk but like not it was a different kind of like. And like, drunk. I don't even remember being like, God, I feel drunk. Yeah, I don't remember a thing. Like, out of nowhere, and you were just like, so, speech was so slurred. Like, what she was saying wasn't even sentences. Yeah. It wasn't like slurred words, it was like slurred nonsense. Like, so I can't even recall. I can't even. Ex it was literally. Like you could, it was like, only way I can describe it is like, it's like your brain had switched, switched off, off and your brain, like I was, I was looking at you and I was like, say that again, like one word at a time, like say that again. And you just be like, mm -hmm. what the f it's and I was word. like, what? Cause the music was loud. Like we'd had mm. some drinks. I thought, oh my fucking God, you are so drunk. How no. has this happened? I remember being like, you take a seat, like no more wine, like have your water, like, because I thought, you know, we haven't drank in ages. Right. Maybe it's just, maybe you've been drinking way more right. wine than I have without. Anyway, it was, but at the time, we just thought, like, God, you are drunk. Mm. Like, because you were speaking some, it wasn't like you couldn't speak, like, you were speaking, but sometimes it was just, it was like, yeah, hard to incoherent explain. words. So incoherent. And then we, like, went to the toilet, and then, so then basically we left, and, like, you could like barely walk and I was like oh my god like she is drunk like what has happened like I was so confused but like you were happy like we were laughing like smiling I just thought god she's just on some sort of level that I just was not aware wow yeah and then 
yeah, we got in a taxi and then... I mean, where do I go from there? And just then, like... Well, apparently I was asleep throwing up on myself. They so, were sick all over me, all over my boot. All... We were sat in the taxi. I was like, look, just go to sleep. We're on our way back to the hotel. Like, we need to go back. Like, just go to sleep. And you just, like, passed out. And then I just heard you, like, vomiting because I was just right next to you. But you, you were, like, asleep as you were, like... You didn't know. I could tell that you didn't know you were doing yeah. it. And you were just throwing up, like, that all so over yourself. That is scary. And I was like, oh, my God, like, what is happening? Like, the tax driver... Luckily, the tax driver was really nice. I was like, I'm oh. so sorry. Like, feel free. We can get, like, kick us out. Like, she's just been sick all over your taxi. Like, I'm so sorry, whatever. Like, I wasn't aware that she was going to be sick. Like, I didn't... No. I didn't think you were going to throw up. Like, we hadn't had anything to drink. Like, literally, we I did not think you would be vomiting. Drink. And then, but luckily the taxi man was really nice. He was like, you know, my son was sick in someone else's cab last mm -hmm. weekend. Like these things happen. Like bless him. Yeah, he was nice. That I had, thank God. Um, and yeah, I, then we see, were... and none of these memories uh, can uh, can return to my. You know, sometimes when you've had like a very drunk night and it's like a bit bitty, mm -hmm. you can still remember things when people say things. You can because I've had it before. Oh my God, yeah, I remember. What, oh yeah, we yeah. did actually do that, didn't we? Mm -hmm. Not a single memory from that moment of coming back to that table. Not a single thing. And then, like, we were... Obviously, like, I was getting you back into the hotel. Like, all of this, the concierge, blah, blah, blah. Anyway. Well, I was stumbling all over the place. I've got a bruise on my hip. I've got a I was, graze on my knee. And then, but it was like, I was looking at you and I was like, the hotel is, like, it's like five steps away. Like, just help me stand up. It's five says right there. And you were just like, your eyes just looked blank. Right. It was just like, I could tell that what I was saying just wasn't, wasn't going in. Nothing was happening. It was like you were shut down. Like right. it was really scary. Um, and then we got back to the hotel. The concierge like, got us water. Like, <laughs> anyway, like you were asleep, like in the bathroom. I got pillows. Yeah. I had to fucking watch you sleep because I thought, God, like, if you lie on your back, all the stuff from yeah. Dare was like coming Dare. back. I was like, you can't lie on your back because you would, you would choke on your own vomit. I was like, you need to be on your side. Like pillows, pillows. I put a stool behind you. You were propped up. I just oh, sat there. I cleaned the room. I was like, I've got a few hours to kill till she wakes up. Oh, cleaned the room. I was like listening because you were like, like snoring. Apparently, I was I was asleep in the bathroom. I all don't night. even rem I don't all remember. I, I don't even remember opening my eyes once in that bathroom and being asleep. And then Sophia said a few hours before I woke up and was actually conscious for the first time. So at about, at about six, she got up from the bathroom and went into the bed. I can't, I can't even remember And then that. we, because I was like, okay, like, she's in bed, like, sleep a bit comfy now. Anything? No, you didn't. I was like, are you alright? you just blank. I was like, maybe she's just like, Oh, so I'm still in it? Because yeah. I can't remember that. And then she woke up properly at eight. And I was like, are you okay? Like, I, cause I was thinking like, what if she's lost speech? Yeah. Like I was literally thinking like, can she not speak? Like what has happened? Like I was like, so I was like, oh my God, are you all right? And you were like, yeah, I'm good, how are you? I, I, I was cause like, I woke up and I was like, I just turned over like, cause obviously I, I haven't, I just didn't have any memory. I thought, I don't know what, out for dinner. I thought we'd just been out for dinner. So I was like, oh. Then she had to fill me in and we're like, oh my fucking God, that is not right. Like, I am never like that. We have the same drinking tolerance. If anything, I can drink more than you. And, and we, we had, had exactly the same amount. Uh, which was not much. Which was not much. It was like... I was sober. Gross. Like, Sophia I was, was sober. Cold sober. So we figured it out. It was when we all went to the toilet. And obviously. Obviously. And all left our drinks. Someone obviously must have walked by, slipped something in just my cup, apparently. Apparently, was it yeah. A to probably a I mean, our glasses were right next to each other, right? so it could have easily been like, yeah. <sighs> Lord. And then, so, but it's like, who is doing that in a restaurant? But it's like, but now it's like. It's a lesson for us it's all. It's a lesson for us all, no matter where Do not you leave are. Your drinks unattended. What time it is, what drink, whatever, whatever. Where, yeah. Who you're with, or never. Always cover your drink. Always be conscious. Now we're going to be on high alert, high alert. wherever we are. Because I, you hear about like people getting spiked in clubs, right? And, and in clubs, I do make a conscious effort to yeah. like cover like drink and like bar. that. 
and or like just try and like down it at the bar, just down it so I don't have to like carry it round. Um, like we are really conscious of it, but I never thought no, we in never a, thought. you would get spiked in a Well, the restaurant. last thought was when we were all getting up and going to the toilet was, oh, we better finish our drinks or we better not, or we better take our drinks with us. No. Which looking so, back, I don't know why, but I think it's because we just thought we're in a restaurant, like we're not thinking it, it about was like a, it. It felt like a totally safe restaurant yeah. in all aspects. And it, it, it wasn't until we got back to the hotel and you were like in the bathroom, not going into detail, completely that incoherent. they came to me that I thought, oh my fucking God, like you've been spiked. Yes. Like I don't know why, because we all just thought you were drunk. We both just thought you were drunk, but That's not normal. then I came and then I thought like, I was like, no, like she's obviously been spiked. Like, duh. Like, obviously. And Chintzy literally cannot remember a I can't thing. remember a single thing, and that's what's petrified. Like, you know, like, uh, you think a bit, will go, oh yeah, I do actually remember waking up in the, in the, the fact no. that even two hours before, I fucking woke up. So it literally, like, knocked her out for 12 hours, because right. you ingested it right. at, what, like, eight, nine. Right. You woke up eight, nine, that's when your memory came. You couldn't yeah. remember anything at 6 a.m. No. I can't remember in... that. Exactly. And then I was dizzy and ill all day, even when I, I when I did wake up that first time, I did feel quite dizzy mm. and not like not like fully with it. It was scary. It. Like I thought you were gonna die. I know. Well, I didn't think you were gonna die, as I would have gone to the hospital. But it, it was. was I never. I was saying to like the contours, I was like, I've never seen her like this. Right. Like, I was giving him our life, so I was like, we've been friends before. Like I've never seen her like this. Like what do I do? But he just thought you were fucked. Right. He was like, she's fine. Like. She's on us, like on the side. Like I thought, because I thought she's been sick. She's been sick yeah. a lot. I thought you drank water and it hadn't come back up, so nothing was right. blocked. blocked. I thought she can breathe. I can. I can. I'm looking at her snoring. I can yeah. hear her. Like she's not. Yeah. But it was scary. So lesson for us all: do not leave. Because the thing is, like, if wherever happened, you are. If that had been a guy that you were on a first date with or just a guy you were on a date with that did that to you, he could have easily been like, to, like oh, anything it's my could... girlfriend, like, come on, babe, like, is... I'll take you, like, sorry, guys. What's scary like... is anything could have happened and I wouldn't have remembered at all. It's, it's like, black. It's, it's, it's a blackout. I wouldn't have remembered a single thing. I could have ended up anywhere. Yeah. And I would not remember a single thing. And nothing was would wake you up. Like, and you were past, like, you had... Sorry, you had like sick on your legs and I was like cleaning you it's... and like I was taking your clothes off because I was like, you can't sleep in these fucking clothes. Like, it was sick they all over soiled. you. I was like taking boots off and putting clothes on you and you were just like, gone. it didn't wait. You didn't even wake totally up. You didn't even, you didn't even stir. No, you were just I, like. I can't remember it. I can't remember a single thing. No. So, sorry, this has got really deep, but it's scary, but no, I'm glad we went through it and I'm glad we came out of it okay. And I'm glad we can say here, wherever you are, just never feel relaxed in terms of people putting things in your drinks and no. stuff because that was the last thing we, we were expecting that night, right? Restaurant, bar, wherever you are. And always make sure that if someone else is pouring you a drink or giving you a drink that you can you're, you're aware of what's happening yeah yes because absolutely uh, where the drink is coming from because we were saying also but we still don't know who like who was it because the thing is like no one no guy we didn't no talk girl to anyone tried to approach us and be like is she all right do you want me to like help you guys get home like no one tried to approach us so i'm like whoever slipped you that didn't then act on it like why what was the motive no. what just for fun like i mean thank god i've got good friend here right god forbid god forbid god forbid you have bad friends and they just leave you or put you in an uber or and you know no. and you are incoherent and you can't even get yourself it's fucking petrifying so you couldn't speak it's you couldn't speak like what was it i don't know like it's fucking scary the only but way i can describe it is like your brain was off, off. you couldn't speak i was mm. looking at you like like speaking and it was just like blank there was nothing like your your eyes your your mouth your ears and your brain were, were not connected yeah I mean, look, 
I, I'm glad it was me and not one of you guys, right? Lesson for us all. Lesson for us all. Never feel relaxed. Always be on high alert when it's when it comes in terms of your drinks. Especially if Never you're going on your dates. Drink. Like these post lockdown dates, meeting people in real life for the first because time that you've only met online. Yeah, let's just, it's made us hyper aware and I think it's good that it, I'm glad it happened and now we've learned our lesson because it was a, God forbid it happened, it happened and something worse happened, you know, or it was both of us or I don't know what would have happened if it was both if of us. If it was both of us, I don't actually know. We would actually we know. have been able to have, of, I don't know what, well, we would have to have, well, fate would have done its, I don't, well, I don't we know. we would have woke up on the street. Well, yeah, I, I would well, we hope. I would have hoped there would have been some nice strangers. But they wouldn't have known where to send us. Well, yeah. Because we couldn't... Well, exactly. So... <sighs> At least we've all learned. We, we've learned a major lesson here. Mm -hmm. Never leave your drinks, no matter where you are. Even if you're in a nice restaurant. Or you feel like it's fine. Safe. Because who the, who the hell did that? It's... it's, it's for really what? Scary. For what? It for did what? fucking shake us up though, didn't it? We thought... It was petrol. That whole night... I can't even imagine for you. I was watching you. God, it was it was horrible. Like it was I was like, who the fuck can I call? Like what do I do? Like what do I do? Like I didn't know what to do. Like it was scary. Yeah. But But we're fine. I'm totally fine. I've had like two days of recovery. I so we had the the Monday we just kind of stayed in bed, tried to figure out what happened, didn't we? Mm -hmm. Called you know, we need to call the, call the police still, called the police. So that was a little story time. Nothing crazy ever happens to us like that. Nothing. Does it? But I think it's good that it has, especially as like we're like gonna be dating people we don't know and going on dates people we haven't met. I feel like it was a good time for it to happen. Right. Because now at least like we know that when we're going meeting people we don't know if we're ever going on dates like it's something we need to well it's something that's going to be at the forefront of my mind exactly sure. and you know it probably it wouldn't have been if it hadn't have happened because mm. it's something we always think about like if that because if that's what i'm saying if that because the been, thing if is like a guy that had done that to you or you were on a date with mm. i think it just made us realize that you can't trust anyone wherever you are and even though well you know i have faith in humanity i meet everyone i think they're a good person yeah you know what i mean like oh i'll be like oh you know all nice people in here mm, no. no i'm just happy it wasn't both of us right lord because we would have literally woke up oh, on we would the have street in our own sick and without us imagine how scared we'd be at that point if we literally could not piece together the night oh it makes me feel sick it makes me feel whew, funny but We've all learned a major lesson, I think, at least we're learning. Especially for everyone starting uni and like these like house parties or whatever is going on. Be aware of your drinks and like Please. don't let someone pour you a drink in the other room. Like, don't know, let someone done. Don't let someone even give you a drink. Uh, like I know people do it and I know you think like, yeah, like, whatever. But seriously, like if that had have been like that could have been so much worse. And like it does what the person like it does its job like it knocks you out for 12 hours you have no memory you literally cannot can barely can't walk can't speak can't, can't walk. speak you can't do anything you're just you just become a, a body and that is just it living. so anyone that is giving you like their intentions are obviously you know mm. just just be hyper aware that's all just always pour your own drink Always know where the drink's coming from. Never leave your drink, no matter where you are. Go with trusted people, you know. Yeah. Like you know, take drink like take if Sophia poured me a drink, I'm like, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not like no. You know, no, I have to do it. <laughs> yeah. No, no just, we're just saying just like, like trusted people, know people who you don't know whose intentions mm -hmm. might be. I know it's it's hard though, like, who do you trust? But I don't know. Bit of a solemn Sorry, that was a bit so, No, but I think it's something we all it's need important. to know. I think it's really important. Mm -hmm. We have to tell people, we have to speak about it because it's fucking petrifying. The last thing I want is that to happen to someone and you literally die, you know? Or just like wake up like... Or, and, 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 and think what the hell had happened. You know, when we did nothing, you know, we, we, we were just having a nice... We were out for dinner. I haven't seen shit, I was like having edamame. Uh, we were talking about serious things. Yeah, we were. It was uh, God. 
makes me feel sick thinking about it. Like thinking but about what could have happened makes me feel. It's a fucking nightmare. It actually, is a nightmare. But it's we're here and we're we enjoyed our snacks. I'm a bit full, are you? Yeah, I don't know how, but I am. Yeah. Maybe it's just a topic of conversation. Yeah, we've got much of an appetite now. <laughs> but yeah, guys. Thank you for watching. Thanks for watching. Um, maybe, a bit of a story time, I guess. Maybe there's some links we could put down below for some awareness. Yeah, we'll I know Google you can that. get those. Have you seen those things on TikTok? I think we need to get them. Yes. It's. Um, mm -hmm. I mean, not that anyone's going out now, but for the future, it's like little plastic covers you put. See this in my cup. It's like a little plastic. Oh, it's like a condom. It's like. Cup. It's like that lid. It's a little plastic, um, stretchy thing with a straw hole in it that you can just put on your cup. Mm -hmm. So like, you know, if you're at house, but it's like a solo cup, stretchy thing. Yeah. And it's got a hole for a straw. So I think, I think I'll put some these. links down below for those. So yeah, brilliant. Thanks for right, watching. Guys. Thanks for watching. Um, sorry if this was a bit somber. Is that the word? Solemn. 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 What does somber mean? No, I think somber's the right word. Yeah. Somber. Bit of a somber episode. Yeah. Thank you for Thank watching. You for watching. We love you lots. Um, we will. What's our next video? Get ready with us. Yes. Or get no, ready. a vlog. Oh yeah, vlog from that weekend. Yeah. Well, we kind of stopped um, vlogging. Actually. Yeah, we actually just stopped vlogging. But Sophia got her, her, her sofa. That's coming next. Bye.